Hey guys, my name is Leander, one of the product designers here at Encore. Over the past few months, the team have been working to implement multimodal functionality and capabilities into the Encore platform. Our philosophy here is that in order to build great multimodal generalized AI systems, you need great multimodal data sets, and you need a way to curate, filter, and sort through the data within those data sets. So I'm gonna show you some of that capability now. So in this part of the platform, we have oversight across all of our data. And that gives us the opportunity to explore and query that data across our various modalities. For example, we can see a list of various videos within this data set. We can see associated keyframes within those videos. We can see associated audio files and their respective waveforms. And we can even see associated documents and things like PDFs within the data set. So let's use an example where the user wants to create an AI model that's going to fit into a pair of AR glasses and help the user work through a set of instructions. I'm just going to show you for this example how we can curate documents that are all associated to a set of instructions. So if I scroll through my list of PDFs here, let's say that I know that this PDF here is a set of instructions. I now have the opportunity to perform a similarity search on this piece of data, and that's basically going to give me a subset of my data that is all related to set of instructions. And that's ultimately what I want to annotate for this example. So I'm just going to click here, and then we have this little button called similarity search. We can run that, and that is basically going to spit out all of the documents that are relevant for this use case, i.e. sets of instructions. Alternatively, I can use something called natural language search, to search for something like instructions, which we're gonna do now. And then the data set spits out a subset of the data related to a set of instructions. If I want a more visual representation of my data, I can jump over to our embeddings plot, which represents the data along an X and Y axis graphically. So once I'm happy with how I've curated my data, we can jump into the label editor to actually start annotating it. Here we see our three modalities that we'll be annotating. We see the uh, set of instructions on the left-hand side, video on the top right, and we see associated audio on the bottom right. The beauty of having these three modalities all once in the label editor is that I can create annotations for sections that are related to each other, and then I can relate those labels to each other. So I've already annotated a, a section of the text here that uh, explains to me what I'm gonna need for this construction, a metal tape measure. I can now find the associated part in the video where the tape measure pops up. I can create an annotation for that tape measure. I can associate that annotation to the annotation in the text. And then I can even find the section of the audio clip. What you'll need, metal tape measure. That references that tape measure. I can create an annotation for that as well. And then all three of those annotations will be related to each other. So to summarize, we've done a couple of different things here. We have curated a vast multimodal data set to include subsets of that data that are gonna to lead to a higher quality model. And we've annotated all three relevant modalities in a single view. And we can see how powerful this is gonna be from an annotation standpoint. It's really gonna speed up annotation time and lead to higher quality multimodal models. And if you wanna find out more about Encore and our multimodal capabilities, head to encore.com slash multimodal.